Hello, hello and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Some of you who follow me on my Twitter may have seen it before, and if not, I will show you how to make this. This video assumes you already have GIMP pre-installed. If you do not have GIMP pre-installed, then there will be a video in the cards up here where my mouse is called how to edit a green screen where the start of that is how to install GIMP. Also the link to link to GIMPs in this description of this video as well as anything else I link to. So like, the first things first is you want to find the original picture that you want something to be put on top of. I have this skydiver so this is what I'm going to put something on top of and I can now leave this as it is. Then you want to get your second picture that you want to lay on top of it as part of it. So here it is. You want you may need to right click here and click scale layer and decrease the size of it. Okay, so even that still wasn't quite enough. So and if you have it on cubic, it means when you take put it will square down the image. So when whatever I do to the top, it will do to the bottom. Okay. Bit better, but I'm pretty sure my cat's head will still be too big. So that's fine. We're just going to work on this, and then we're going to overlay everything else. So what we want to do is we want to get our lasso and select everything we want to have. You will want to press Control, your mouse wheel, or two mouse fingers on the touch bar to zoom in and then space to re to move your mouse and recenter it. So then with your lasso we'll go around the object putting in as many spots as possible. There we go. Really easy. And then just go around. If you press and hold you get in put into free draw, which you may want. I am fine currently with using uh, just straight lines. Oh, I've messed that circle up, so I'm going to redo that again. If you mess it up, doesn't matter. You can just redo your circle. You, if you're trying to do this properly, you would want to put as much points in as possible to make it have as much detail as possible. I am doing this just to demonstrate to you how to do it because I have already done it as you saw at the start of this video. Also the link to the Twitter where I post silly things like this when I make them is in the description. Once you finish highlighting your object you want to press Ctrl I. Ctrl I inverts the selection so when you press delete it will delete everything other than the cat. You also want to, before deleting everything, you want to right click your layer and add an alpha channel and then press and then press delete. And therefore we've just got our cat. And because your cat's still selected and we won't want that from now on, you just make some form of shape thing in the bottom and press enter and then it deselects everything. So we're going to line up the cat to where it would be, so that's where we're going to have it. And if you want a comedy, comedically big head, then there you go. But now we're going to scale the head down. We're going to go to scale layer and just slowly decrease this. You can do it two ways. You can use this drop down arrows, or if you have a rough idea on the size, you can just type it in and press scale and then keep just working your way down. So, three. 350 for me maybe and then there you go when you're happy with what you've got finally you go to file export as export will turn it back into a picture png or jpeg save as will turn it into a gimp file so you can't put that into things so you want to click save as or uh, export as sorry so when you click export as you want to make sure you're in your right location you want to type in a name so flying cat press export ok 
that's an invalid name, so there we go. That's allowing that, export, export as, and voila, you are done. Thank you for watching, if you liked this video, please consider giving me a subscribe, or maybe even a like. I will hopefully see you in the next one, bye!